Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also, also record an extended reading to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle four times the deck. One last shuffle. Let's see first what is the overall energy. The tower. I think the breakup or the ending of that connection was unexpected. Both of you unexpected it to happen. But the connection was built uh, on not safe or not solid foundations. So it was a test and it didn't pass the test because the connection was not healthy and that's why it cracked and uh, broke down. But let's see the other cards for more details. First we will see what happened in the past and why it all happened. Then their possible actions towards you. We are talking about the person that is currently on your mind. So, what happened in the past? There may be a long distance between uh, uh, you both or you may feel distant emotionally as well. I get a feeling the connection was on and off. It was, uh, and it may still be unfinished business. The cycle didn't end. It was no closure. And it was repeated over and over again. So on and off connection. At the same time, someone did have a faith that the connection could be saved. Now, until now I have Aquarius and Scorpio, but let's see the other cards. What is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of is the fact that this person may have lied to you. Or they may be avoiding you. For some of you, they cheated. So this is still affecting you and your thoughts. And this is happening in your subconscious, even if you are not aware of it. How you view the situation, Two of Swords. You know that you need to make a decision regarding that connection, but you haven't decided yet. You are indecisive. You are unsure which, uh, which uh, solution to give to it. To move away? or to wait a little bit longer. Some of you may have another option already, and you don't know exactly which uh, person to follow, which person to give a chance for knowing each other better. So, indecisiveness regarding the, the situation, that's how you view it. At the current situation, Justice and the Six of Swords, you think that it is the best the best way is to move away from the situation that was draining you emotionally uh, was causing you lots of anxiety and stress and pain so you think uh, if you are based on facts and logic not on feelings the best decision is to move away from that person now let's see about what is your focus and what is your hope Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor. You want to start a new cycle. You want to start start a completely new cycle, have a closure with the past connection and start something completely new. Your hope is that you now are more mature in love, will take charge of any situation and will not make the same mistakes again. And that you will not give any more time to people that uh, may waste your time and may not give you back what you give to them. The love and the attention. Now let's see what is happening with a person that is on your mind. They have the Eight of Wands. Let's see why the Eight of Wands for them. 
seems like they want to travel and meet you if they are in a long distance. Justice. They want to apologize. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. So they want to apologize. They want to reach out. But they are not sure if they should text you or call you. At the bottom is Knight of Swords in the reverse. They are more on the side of not talking, not messaging, because they are very indecisive. I don't know why, but deep inside this person wants to apologize or uh, to make that connection right, but they are not choosing to do it. They are very indecisive, but mostly they are on the side of not acting right now. Let's see about the near future what Yes, I think they will come. Uh, five of Pentacles in the reverse. They will return. They will finally make a decision that this Ace of Pentacles be upright, I think. But let's clarify. Let's, uh, let's not jump into conclusions. I get a feeling they will reach out. But let's see. Let's see why the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for them. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, three of cups. I see reconciliation. They want to reconcile with you because they want to end that overthinking, that stress about that past situation with you. Eight of wands. Again, I see communication from this person. Seven of pentacles. They have been waiting enough. Now they will talk. I will continue this reading for more details in the extended where I want to view more details about how does this person feel now? How do they view you from the outside? What are their intentions for the current moment? And also the energies for both of you and around each one of you. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.